This is the MT Predictor Weekly Market Update for November 17th. All right, so let's uh, we just get an options expiration out of the way, and we saw the market rally into options expiration as it does about 70% of the time. Um, well, I'm just going to start with the NQ here, the uh, uh, the mini uh, Nasdaq here. I'm just going to right click and ask it uh, for the Elliott Wave pattern. And you can see, uh, remember last week we were just maybe a tick, a few ticks away from the maximum wave 5 target. This week we did solid, uh, make a solid close inside the resistance area here, this target. And so this market is due and certainly can uh, correct from here. Uh, here's the last swing into the high. This is the wave 4 to wave 5 swing. I can take a decision point off of this. And this would be the next major weekly support um, in the NQ here. Uh, let's take a look at the Russell. And the Russell, I'm just going to ask for the Elliott Wave pattern. Remember, this one is already solidly in uh, the weekly minimum Wave 5 target there. It uh, didn't make a new high last week. This is still the uh, red candle here. Um, still the uh, the high of the swing high here. A correction. Again, this in an area where it could correct. We'll take a look at the S&P here in a second. And I'll, we'll kind of go through that. But, um, but here's the level on the weekly chart. We could look for a potential correction back to. And then really kind of the driver the S&P here. Let me clear this off. Uh, I'm just going to choose the Elliott wave, wave here. So you can see we took out minimum wave 5. We're very close to the typical wave 5 target, which is also um, the uh, 1800 level here. That Remember, that's kind of the big, nice round number there. I think we came very, very close on Friday to getting there. And I think that uh, we'll probably get that. It's, you know, we're, we're uh, one day of trading away from hitting 1800 here in the ES. And uh, once we get there, and uh, let's just look at the Dow, and we get the Dow or the uh, YM in six, uh, to 16,000, right? So it came very, very close. Let's see what was the high on. Friday there. Let me move this out of the way. All right, Friday's high, then uh, 15,930. So what about 60, 70 points away from, you know, so that's uh, a trading day away from the nice round 16,000. Uh, level there. All right, if we can get the Dow and uh, in that 16,000, the S&P into that 1800. All right, we've got the Russell in some uh, at a wave five target. We've got the NQ in a maximum wave five target on these weekly charts. So we could start to see uh, some selling coming in. Uh, we'll have to see uh, as things kind of progress here this week. Uh, you know, we've got a full slate of uh, economic data this week and you've got the Fed, uh, FOMC minutes on Wednesday which can be a market mover um, and that whole day you've got a you know number of big reports coming out uh, Wednesday and Thursday um, so we'll see if they can tag those levels and then we'll see you get those reports out maybe uh, we'll see how they come out but maybe we get start to get some selling in after we achieve those those nice round numbers there in these markets all right, then let's look at uh, gold and silver. We'll start with gold here. All right, here is the daily chart of gold, and here was that standard uh, sell signal the MT Predictor software gave uh, back here with the red STF, which means the larger degree trend was down, and it was okay to take short trades. You see this buy setup was on that red STF. It's saying that... Uh, this is not a trade to take because it's against the uh, trend indicator here. 
But anyway, so that means you, the shorts can st stick with the shorts, uh, the short side here, and uh, that target again all the way down around 11, just below 1150 in the ES. 1200, nice round number there. Uh, here's the last swing low. I'm just going to take a whoops decision point off of this level, and you can see around 12. We'll call it 1240, um, 1240 area. That uh, is the next daily support there we had some more selling coming in and then uh, a little pop back up in the last uh, a few days of the uh, week there uh, we'll see if this rolls o begins to roll over again uh, silver let's just take a look at I um, actually want to look at the weekly chart of silver here let's switch to the weekly because we have our Again, our wave four set up. I'm going to project wave five down using the tools and the software here. Uh, and again, you can use these tools. It doesn't matter if this is a, it happens to be a weekly chart, but it could be a three minute chart or one minute chart. Or anyway, here's our wave five targets. Here's your minimum wave five target here, and we are anticipating silver to reach that level. Right around 1750, and then we'll be in uh, be retesting the major uh, decision point support on the weekly chart uh, in silver here. And if we just go back here. It's right around this this level uh, take a decision point off of this little wave three swing okay it's all going to be down in this area here so if we can get through this level um, get to the target here now we've got some overlapping support here and this may be where we see a bottom come in maybe in this minimum maybe maybe typical wave five area somewhere in here and then uh, if we can achieve those targets then it may be a time to look to start buying this for a rally back to let's erase this here back to this would would be the wave four decision point so if we can go wave five down basically back into the or into the dp on the downside here we'd anticipate a rally back to this level right around that 25 uh, 2550 level so that might be a good play there, but we've got to wait and see if we can get to the short targets. And again, stops at break even on the uh, on the short. So you can't lose on this one if uh, for some reason it doesn't get down to the target there. Uh, that 22.90 level uh, is your stop. All right, now let's uh, review some of our option candidates. Um, let's look at deer. All right, so deer. Remember uh, last week we were looking at this area. If you were going to initiate a uh, long, uh, you know, call position, or uh, some type of op option strategy, to take advantage of a potential move higher from here in deer. Uh, that was a good area to do it in. We had a high volume spike come in, telling us that uh, professionals may be stepping in there as well. And you see the next resistance level. Uh, this is an initial rally here. We may get a corrective move uh, and then hopefully a leg up uh, into that above the 85 level there in Deer. Um, and U.S. Steel, this was the, the uh, last one that we added uh, on, uh, what was the date we added that one? I believe it was on the 30th of October. October 30th so that's had a a good move uh, now up about 12 percent it is you know gone beyond the typical wave five so I think this was the uh, let's see this here was the day uh, that uh, no I'm sorry the 30th the 30th of October which was right here yeah so we got a nice move up here, taking out these well, minimum typical wave five targets. There's your maximum wave five target. So maybe we get another move higher. We certainly could correct anywhere in this area because we're wave five up. 
Uh, hopefully the correction will be shallow there. We'll watch for that. And then, uh, you know, if they go ahead and just take this level out, well, and obviously with the S&P getting up into a level, the Dow getting up into a level that we anticipate they're going to correct. So we're going to have to expect uh, we we'll get corrections in some of these stocks as well. But again, that seasonal tendency through December is that these stocks trend higher uh, into uh, the end of the year. Uh, let's see, ETN, that's Eaton. And Eaton, uh, that start date was October 23rd, and that one's up uh, almost 6% now. Uh, you can see we had the resistance we came into. We were anticipating a correction, got a bit of a correction, a rally now, took out that prior high. Here's your next resistance level here from the uh, daily chart, up around 73. Nice round number there. Uh, GPC, Genuine Parts. All right, this was a nice one. Again, continuing to move through. Here's the, uh, this TS2 is a wave four, heading into a wave five. And, uh, and uh, we anticipate this should rally back to this level. And that is, uh, we're going at 80, uh, right around 83, uh, 83.15, 83.20 level will begin that resistance level. This will be a big uh, test here. Um, we normally we anticipate this will find some resistance here and begin to correct. Uh, but what we want to see is that that correction will be shallow and then retest and take this level out. And if they can do that, what tends to happen is they'll you can take a DP off of the top of this swing here that tells us that they're probably then going to go to the next resistance level uh, up here on that 8650 on GPC and then finally Equifax this one uh, came into decision point resistance here off of this last wave 3 swing high where that's here we're also in the minimum wave 5 target there and we did close the day on Friday with the red sellers candle telling us that sellers were overcoming buyers here so this one could correct from here back to the wave 4 DP level from uh, back here in terms of the daily chart but again uh, I, ideally we'd like to see a shallow correction here and then retest this level and maybe run for the uh, typical wave 5 target okay and so Equifax uh, that one's now about uh, up about uh, a little better than 7% so some some good moves uh, here are kind of honorable mentions uh, Costco I won't bring the chart up but that one's up over seven percent and Nike was the other uh, again just a an honorable mention there that also in, uh, is picking up a little steam almost uh, up uh, almost uh, five percent since their start dates October 28th for Nike and uh, Costco uh, October 25th was its start date all right, so we'll leave it there. I uh, wish you a good week of trading. We'll be back and we'll review these next week in the market update.